The Elon Musk led Boring Company has achieved another big milestone with the Las Vegas Loop. They were finally able to demonstrate transporting over 4,400 people per hour. This little side project by Elon was facing challenges not too long ago. During this time, the Vegas Loop was receiving a lot of criticism. But the challenges are now being overcome and the project is starting to look like it will be a huge success for the Boring Company and Elon Musk. The Las Vegas Convention Center Loop is just the tip of the iceberg. The success of this project will bring about new Tesla vehicles which we will talk about in today's episode and we will also look at how tunnel systems like this can revolutionize the way we travel on a daily basis, all the while increasing road safety. But before we dive in, let's get plugged in. Hi and welcome to EV Source. My name is Harry and I'm your host for today's dose of EVs and technology. If you tuned in last week, you will probably recall me talking about the challenges the Boring Company was facing with the Vegas Loop and how those challenges were making it look like the project might have been on the verge of failing. But of course, as the video went live, we had new information coming in that blew away some of the things that I was talking about in the video, which led me to take down the video and put out a new one with updated information, which is what I'm doing with this video. So in this one, I will address some of the things I already talked about in my last video with the new information in mind, and I will also discuss the future possibilities and dig deeper into what the future might look like with underground high-speed tunnels. So without further ado, let's dive right in. To fully understand the scope of this project, let's first take a quick look at what the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop really is. The Las Vegas Convention Center, or LVCC, is one of the world's largest convention centers. It is owned and operated by the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, or LVCVA. It has 1.9 million square feet of exhibition space and 3.2 million square feet total space. The entire campus area is 200 acres. It underwent multiple expansions since it was established in 1959. The latest expansion of the LVCC is the West Expansion in 2020. This $980 million project adds a whopping 1.4 million square feet area to the convention center. The expansion includes 600,000 square feet of exhibition space, an atrium, and four 14,000 square feet outdoor terrace. The Las Vegas Tunnel is a $52.5 million underground tunnel project undertaken by the LVCVA and planned and constructed by the Boring Company. The Las Vegas Tunnel is situated 40 feet below the ground. This includes two one-way 1,287 meter long tunnels that connect the main campus of the Las Vegas Convention Center with the West Expansion. Now let's take a look at what was promised with this tunnel project. LVCC holds the biggest conventions in the world, given that it's one of the largest. The Consumer Electronics Show, or CES, attracts about 200,000 people each year. Due to this massive number of people, traffic congestion and long walks become a common problem in the area. So LVCVA wanted to develop a transit system that could transport 4,400 people per hour during the exhibition time. Elon Musk's bid was the cheapest, so the boring company got the contract. The plan was simple. The two one-way 1,280 87 meter long tunnels would utilize about 60 Tesla vehicles. Model 3s are by far the most common, but there are quite a few Model Y and Model X vehicles as well. The idea was to have the cars travel up to 150 miles per hour with 3 to 5 passengers depending on the vehicle. The target was to transport 4,400 passengers per hour from the main campus to the western expansion. Passengers will board and get off the cars in three stations, South Station, Central Station, and West Station. Initially, the cars will have drive Drivers, but they will be fully automated and self-driven in the future. A command center will supervise the entire system around the clock for any safety issues. Visitors in the LVCC will be able to travel across the campus in under two minutes using the tunnel's transport system, which is usually a 45-minute walk from one end to another. The problem was that they were falling short of the target of 4,400 people per hour. This was due to a bottleneck in one of the stations that can load and unload only 800 passengers per hour. This limitation was mostly implicated by the National Fire Safety Rule for the underground transit system. These rules specify sprinklers, emergency exits, alarms, and limit the maximum occupant load in potential choke points to avoid overcrowding in the event of a fire accident. Had the Boring Company not met the target, they would have been fined up to $4.5 million. But just recently, on May 27th, they tested the system with real passengers driving them from one end to another and exceeded $4,400 
passengers per hour. According to results revealed by Steve Hill, who is the chief executive officer and president of the LVCVA, the Boeing company's loop sim simulator predicted 4,450 people per hour for version 3 configuration with 62 vehicles. It also predicts 5,050 people per hour for version 4 and 55,000 people per hour for the full Vegas strip loop. It's beginning to look like the company under-promised and over-delivered. Did they change or update the safety rules? And that part is still unclear, but let's talk about the fire safety rules for a moment because I think it's very important to understand something when we're talking about electric vehicles. But before we get to that, I want to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video. I always use a VPN when I use public Wi-Fi, but it's also useful at home. A lot of online services use very sophisticated commercial targeting and tracking, and a VPN can protect you from that. Surfshark does a great job at blocking ads, trackers, and malicious websites, making it safer to use the internet even at home. It can also make it look like your IP address is coming from a different location. This can be useful in various ways, such as streaming your favorite videos that are only available from a specific location. But my favorite is when booking airline tickets and hotels online. You see, prices can vary depending on where they think you're coming from. And one of the best parts is that it's easy to set up across all of your devices, whether it's an iPhone or an Android. Mac or PC. Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account to use with an unlimited number of devices. Use my code to get 83% off plus 3 extra months for free. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk to try it out for yourself. The link is in the description below and thanks to Surfshark and all of you for supporting the channel. Now let's continue with the fire safety rules. These rules are ancient and they were put in place for internal combustion engine vehicles in case they ever caught on fire inside a tunnel. Furthermore, these cars pollute the air so proper ventilation is always needed in tunnels along with many other safety measures. But the Vegas Loop is using electric vehicles, so there's no pollution, no combustion in the engine because it's electric, which dramatically minimizes the risk of a fire accident. Sure, you could argue that batteries can also catch on fire, but chances of that happening inside the tunnels are very low. Most of the Tesla fires you've seen in the news were due to an accident that physically damaged or punctured the battery pack. There was even a case that led to a fire because of some debris on the road that happened to damage the battery pack just enough for it to catch on fire. But with a closed system like the Vegas Loop, chances of getting debris on the road are very, very low. In fact, the closed loop system has many benefits over normal roads. They're completely shielded from the weather which makes them immune to rain, snow, and everything in between. There are no pedestrians, no crosswalks, no traffic lights, no wild animals like deers or anything else. I mean sure, an animal could get inside the tunnels, but it's not like it will just jump in front of you out of nowhere. You will see it from far away and chances are it will likely be running in the same direction trying to avoid you. Over 1 million vehicle accidents happen every year and being able to get rid of most of the things that can cause an accident for a human driver is a big increase in road safety. Now when you add in autonomy, things get more interesting and safer. However, currently the Vegas Loop will have 62 vehicles all driven by a person. Though they currently have speed limits of up to 40 miles per hour, this is likely to change as the system matures and gets closer to being fully automated. The boring company's comments on the results of its first LVCC loop test drives suggest that the tunneling company will continue to improve the loop's capacity over time. The boring company still has to develop some key factors in the LVCC loop, including the introduction of autonomous operations. The boring company signed an agreement with the LVCVA board to implement autonomous operations to the LVCC loop, quote, no later than December 31st, 2021. Once the system is able to run autonomously, the vehicles will likely be able to hit speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. And this leads me to the new Tesla vehicles that I mentioned earlier. Elon Musk initially promised a 12-seater autonomous vehicle that would be purpose-built for the tunnels. The original idea was to summon the vehicle through an app and the vehicle would come to pick you up and take you straight to your destination without stopping anywhere in the middle, like a subway train would. Though we haven't heard from Elon or Tesla regarding the autonomous vehicle for the tunnels, Musk did mention once on Joe Rogan's podcast that they had to make the Cybertruck smaller for it to fit in the boring company's tunnels. There are only two reasons that I can think of why he would have made that comment. One, either he wants to make sure that the Cybertruck would be able to enter any future tunnels by the Boring Company, or two, they will use the Cybertruck's platform or 
or chassis, if you will, to make the 12-seater vehicle he originally promised. Vehicles in a closed system would be different. They don't need many of the things we take for granted in vehicles today. If Tesla decides to build a high-capacity vehicle specifically designed for the tunnels, one that would never operate on surface roads, the design can be much simpler than a regular vehicle, and you wouldn't need certain things like windshield wipers, seat belts, airbags, or even multiple doors. Even the tires can be better optimized for the tunnel's pavement to reduce wear and tear. But before Tesla develops any new vehicles, it has other big problems that they are currently working on before introducing new vehicles. One of the major factors is battery production capacity, which needs to increase in order for them to not only produce more vehicles than they did last year, but also to have enough batteries for the upcoming Cybertruck, then the semi-truck that will likely have enormous battery packs, and then there's the much-awaited $25,000 combat car that Elon talked about on the battery day, which will likely be a very high volume car. Now let's talk about costs because I've seen people comparing the tunnel system to a subway train system, arguing that subway trains can transport more people for less money. That's not entirely true, at least not in my opinion. The boring company's tunnels are cheaper to construct than subway systems and other infrastructure that cities, towns, etc. might consider to reduce congestion in certain areas. For instance, a Miami mayor noted that the boring company quoted $30 million for a tunnel under the Miami River. In comparison, the Miami-Dade County transit officials estimated a $900 million price tag for a tunnel about two miles long for the same project. Yes, the tunnels are smaller than the usual tunnels we're used to, so they won't be big enough for semi-trucks or other large vehicles. But projects like these aren't meant for larger vehicles in the first place. The main goal is to reduce traffic jams in certain areas where hours-long traffic congestions occur almost every day. Once this concept gets proven in Las Vegas, it would only make sense to have similar tunnels all over the world to alleviate traffic on the surface. Many cities have already expressed interest in the tunnel system. Miami is already in talks with Elon and the Boring Company. Company. Los Angeles has also expressed interest and others will likely follow once they see the tunnel network in full action. Who knows, maybe one day most of the traffic we see today will be underground and streets will be quieter with less traffic noise and more outdoor recreational activities that weren't possible before could start popping up in places that used to have heavy traffic. The Las Vegas tunnel is just the tip of the iceberg. So much more is possible if or when high-speed autonomous tunnel systems get approved on a broader scale. This is something that could also ultimately revolutionize the way we travel in and around cities. With Elon Musk being the visionary he is, nothing seems to stop him from achieving the impossible. The Vegas tunnel is a testament to that end. Elon and the boring company underpromised and overdelivered, which is the same theme that we've seen repeatedly with Tesla. If any of this got you thinking, share your thoughts below to start discussions around this topic. And before you go, please give the video a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching EV Source. Keep charging ahead and I'll I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe and take care.